Flip and Steve just woken up early after a long night at the casino on Super Bowl Sunday by the crazy one just absolutely going ballistic. Yes, this ferocious attack beast woke me up early. I get to the door as a car is pulling out of my driveway. This is on my side step porch area. Someone left a mother load, boat load of milk, apples, there's like bananas. I'm gonna have to like ask my wife or my daughter if they like ordered some kind of crazy farmer's market box or something. But what the hell am I supposed to do with all of this milk? Definitely the twilight zone moment of the morning. Gotta get some groceries and gotta hit the post office. I've been doing a lot of buying recently, a little bit of selling, but I'm really buying, prepping up, rebuilding my inventory. Want some good cards to take into the national. Usually culture collision, the national. When I do my biggest dealing, I don't, you know, I'm not full time at this. One thing I would recommend, and you guys are probably already smart enough to do this and you know this, is to make a list. If you're buying a lot of cards, and you are purchasing across multiple platforms, make sure you're marking down what you're buying off each platform. For someone who's old like me, it's easy for me to lose track. Now, I don't do it any fancy way. I don't have any computer programs. I just have an old fashioned written list here. Every time I get my card in, I'll cross it off. And every time I get a new one, I'll add it. eBay, as you can see, Fields Red Select, Josh Allen Mythical Black Pandora, Justin Fields Cosmic Prism, Kyler Murray Downtown, Aaron Rodgers, myth mythical, Black Pandora, Luca Blue Select. Yep, there's a basketball card on there. Mahomes, um, Solar Eclipse, which you guys saw me pick up in last video. Just a couple things, you know, a whole list here. And then just on the inside, other platforms. You see Com C, Saquon Barkley, Cracked Ice, IG. I got two things coming from that. Kyler Murray, Tie Dye, Justin Field, Cosmic again. Vera Swap. Got the Jordan insert on the way. My slabs, nothing at the moment. Crazy one is a little upset. She doesn't know what's happening to all that milk and apples. Actually, there's a daycare center behind me a little bit um, down the lane here and in, on the other side of my property, on the other side of the privacy wall. And I believe that might have accidentally supposed to be going there. There is no receipt or anything with that stuff. So my wife and my daughter are actually just taking it back to the daycare center. Seven gallons of milk and a bag of apples and bananas. I don't know. Even if it wasn't theirs, I'm sure they could use it. The disbelief of Little Miss Biscuit here, who just wanted some milk and apples, didn't you? What's better than apples? Blueberries. Delicious. Blueberries? Oh, you know. Come on in. Get out. Get some groceries. Do some talking. Haven't been able to wear the dunks since, uh, I hurt my heel. In fact, I got a bunch of these pair of like Hey Dude shoes, like five or six pairs. You guys remember with the hurt heel when I was wearing Das Boot? I actually had to cut the heel out of one of my Hey Dude shoes in order for it to be comfortable enough to wear on my left foot. I'm going to roll with these today. You guys didn't come here because you care about my shoes or you care about my grocery shopping habits or anything like that. You came here to talk about sports cards. Today, I kind of want to talk about the market being reactive or overreactive or non-responsive. I'm not really sure where we're sitting right now. I'm going to go and check on some prices of some cards coming out of the Super Bowl. A lot of times that can be a gauge of things, a big time sporting event. A lot of people like to say that the market is no longer as reactive as it used to be, which may be true, at least overreactive from an extreme standpoint. People aren't going out scoring 20 points and everybody wants to wake up the next morning and buy their base prisms. That's absolutely true. However, anyone tells you that overreaction to the market is, is no longer existent or is non-existent is absolutely wrong. That's absolutely a false statement. There is times and there is cards and there is players that you can capitalize on, whether that be somebody speculating around a trade, maybe a contract extension, NFL draft. You know, again, sporting events like I talked about that can affect the buzz and the hype, and that's super key around a player's cards. Anybody who tells you that they just need to look at Josh Dobbs' football cards from this past season. His cards saw three, four, five X because he was a backup that got to came in and had a couple good games. Sure, Sam Darnold cards, which I know from experience, had a you know 25 to 30 percent increase just based on the fact that he was named number two in San Francisco. And Kyler Murray, a guy that I'm buying cards of now. Uh, which may a little bit be a little bit late because I did miss the first spike in him when he came back from his injury, saw like a 20 to 25% increase just because he was getting back on the field and people were excited about his play. That is going to be key. It's going to have to be players that people still have confidence in, not players that are completely written off, you know, 10 years into their career and such like that. But with that being said, we saw it happen with Joe Flacco cards as well. Sure, if I dove deeper, I could go on and on and on, but that's just a couple cases to prove that there is opportunity still out there 
to capitalize on buzz, to capitalize on news, and anybody who tells you that the market is no longer reactive, it, that's just false narrative. To make sure the crazy one doesn't get out while I'm gone, she'll be causing all kinds of mischief. Don't you look at me like that. I'll be back. Don't you do it. Place here in my town called The Pharmacy. It's a market, it's a farmer's market. It's not an actual place that sells pharmaceuticals. I like to go in here because I like to eat organic. I'll get my meats and my produce and things from here as opposed to Walmart or a bigger chain. Plus, more importantly, support local business. Local eggs, got wild boar jerky here at the local Walmart. You see there is an empty NFL mosaic. Looks like empty NFL. Oh no, this is prism basketball. That says 21-22, 2023. So really nothing worth picking up here. Chick-fil-A and a package arrived while I was gone. You ever feel like my videos are like watching the movie Groundhog Day? The same thing over and over. Crazy, what are you doing? Where have you been? Oh my goodness, where have you been? Where have you been? You can tell the crazy one has been in a place where she's not supposed to be when you're gone up here on the stove because she hits this little button and it causes this vent to rise up. What are you doing? Justin Fields Red Select. Out of 99, paid 36 bucks. And a package that I need to go pick up now at the post office I got a sign for. That's the Kyler Murray Select from Instagram. I know that. And like we said earlier, I'm gonna cross that off the list. One thing I'm going to do with you guys that I don't normally do or I haven't done yet, we're going to head over to PWCC. It's Monday. So they got a lot of new auctions and stuff starting. I don't promote PWCC, not affiliated at all. I just go over here to look for deals. If you guys don't like PWCC, don't use it. I'm not here to tell you to use it. I'm just here to tell you that you can go over here sometimes and find some nuggets at some good prices. Uh, one card that I actually have added to my list, actually put a bid in for it so I can get into the extended. Uh, this LeBron... Spectra solar eclipse. I think these are really cool inserts and they're underrated in my opinion I've been buying them up, but of the star players not just any old person any old player of course I'm gonna go for the top ones um, Just as an example I can show you where this card just recently went on eBay in a BGS 9 just last week for like 975 bucks so if I can get this one off at a steal, you know, maybe five or six hundred bucks in a PSA 9, it's just a, a good way to secretly get cards at a better price and then even maybe even put them on a bigger platform like eBay. I will tell you one of the things that I can say about PWCC is people tend to go here for higher end items, really, really expensive items. So the mid to lower tier items that, you, that are on here, you can really find some value on. Here's a card that I lost. This was a National Treasures Kyler Murray. Auto out of 99, only went for 396 with buyer's premium. I believe I had in 280. I am just already kind of uh, over stocked on Kyler Murray. I have enough, as you can see, where I've auctioned, you know had won some auctions previously on him. Going to head over to 130 to try to get a gauge on the Patrick Mahomes market the day after winning the Super Bowl for the third time. Uh, this is the Prism Silver, very polarizing card. This thing is. Very known to be shield bid in the past. Historically shield bid card. I would be scared to buy this card. Um, but to be looking at the PSA 9s back to February 7th, around 900 bucks. Again, PSA 9, 900 bucks. I'm going to scan this real fast. My favorite card for the value right now is this Premier Level Select. And a PSA 10, it's going for 2600 I love it in a PSA 9 for around 800 bucks. That's a good bargain. If you're looking for a cheaper, nice Patrick Mahomes rookie card with low pops, even though it's in a PSA 9. So PSA 9s, the silver going around 900 to 1000 bucks, Just sitting there pretty constant all the way up through the 10th. You know, there's sales of the PSA 10 around 3700 They're going to always be bef between 3700 and 4000 I really don't know what's going to move the needle on that card. As you can see though, here is one that went for 3,700 and then another one up here went for almost 4,200. Of course, that's because this one came with a slab mag. So it gets a premium. And then uh, 4,000 up here at auction with 55 bids. Again, I'm not claiming that these are legit. If you're interested in this card, do your homework, check these comps, 
go to eBay, make sure these bids and the bid history on these doesn't have a lot of shell bidders, a lot of low feedbacks in them. Like I've showed in my previous videos. I'm not going to do that because I'm not in the market for this card. I'm just checking the reaction. All right, so the day of the Super Bowl, the PSA 9s are still doing like 900, it looks like, and this is 13 bids, and this is at 23.24, so we're talking about as we're starting to approach midnight. So the game was over. The PSA 10s after the game, again, here's one at 4,200, which we saw one go there previously. So it doesn't look like the, in another 42 to 4,300, doesn't look like the needle has moved a whole lot on that. The most recent, again, today, the 12th, the PSA 9s have seen a bump from that $900 mark to more around 1,000 to 1,100. And I'm going to say, you know, there's a bigger demographic of buyer that can afford a PSA 9. So you're going to see more sales of those. A lot of people don't have 3,500 to four grand to fork out for a card that's not necessarily an honest market on it. So again, it doesn't look like the Prism really moved a whole lot. Price jumps on the PSA 9 of a couple hundred bucks and price jump on a select field level of 500 bucks. The PSA 10s tend to still be sitting at around that 3,500 to 4K area if these sales are legit. Now to hit up the Optic Hollow, again, it's not like these cards are flooding the pop report. So it's not like there can be tons and tons of sales of these unless people are just willing to sell. Um, on February 7th, you see 1800 on a PSA 10. Again, I'm not guaranteeing that these are legit auctions. I'm not going to go over and check all the bid history on them because I'm not in the market for buying one of these. But I stress to you, if you're looking at these numbers and you're interested in one of these cards, make sure you check the bid history. February 9th at 1900, so up a little bit. There's a 1450 buy it now, so back down on the 12th on a buy it now. Somebody desperate to sell, maybe getting cold feet, thinking they're going to lose the Super Bowl and it would take a dive. And then you're back up here February 11th at 1800 hours. What is that? That's that's like 8 o'clock at night. So that's mid Super Bowl. That's also on four sharp corners consignment. Goes for 2100 Now you have one coming in at 2200 and this is post-Super Bowl. So you can see these selling now post-Super Bowl around four to $500 more, at least this one here did. And another 2400 so climbing up after the Super Bowl victory here on the Optic Hollow, there's a fixed price sale right there of 2700 a fixed price sale of $2,500. do not always try trust fixed price sales either. There could be somebody else having their auction bought off to try to raise the comp. But there's a bid right here on one for $2,400. So dive into that. Make sure that's also legit. If these are legit, then there is a price increase on Patrick Mahomes cards coming out of the Super Bowl victory. If they are not legit, well, then who knows? The people at work like to punish me with little uh, messages and two of postcards on my mailbox. Uh always fun started this video with me talking about how the market is reactive and overreactive at times and that it still exists so that's how we're going to wrap this video up i headed over to instagram as you can see patrick mahomes cards listed for crazy prices on my slabs doesn't mean they're going to sell but the reaction of the sellers to saying hey i'm going to price my cards really high now and maybe somebody will bite you also have cards like brock purdy going down according to a slab stocks post on his green prism at a 28% dip. And then you have Markel Hardman, who has seen over 300 card sales in the past 24 hours, again, according to a Slab Stocks post on Instagram. Just crazy that he would sell 300 cards of, of his various cards after catching the winning touchdown in the Super Bowl. That's probably more cards of his that have sold in the past two years, just in a 24 hour time frame. So, again, ask yourself and comment below. Is the market still reactive to the things that are happening in the sporting events? I think so. You guys let me know below. I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy your time off.